Hi everyone, I'm Christy Forsyth with Clarity by Christy. I am connected to the angelic energy and this is my weekly reading where I deliver all of the messages from the angels for how to best navigate this week. So we're going to break into the angel messages and then at the end we will go into the tarot card reading that helps to um, develop upon the angel messages. So let's take a peek at what's going on because I think that this is an incredibly magical energy. I'm really excited about it because we're starting to really see the shifts in the energy, right? We've been collectively working on a lot. We've been really in this place of making some decisions in terms of where we want to go, where we want to go next, because we've started some new beginnings. We've let go of some things collectively. And now we've been in this place of deciding, are we going to choose to level up and to connect with higher vibrational things and things that make us happy and things that are more aligned with our most authentic life? Or are we going to continue to do things in a way that's familiar and maybe somewhat comfortable, but also not really what we want? And I've been seeing us at this crossroads and I really feel like this week is where we continue to lean into the path that we choose. And again, it's up to us, right? But I think that as you lean into this other path, and I was describing it last week, like this path will look like the more uphill path at first, because it is going to look like a lot of work and it is going to be work and it is going to require courage and it is going to require us to believe in ourselves and to bet on ourselves and to believe in God right? Or in our higher power to support us as we lean into this journey that is calling for us. We are here in still in this Pisces new moon energy and it's such a beautiful dreamy energy. Pay attention to your dreams. Pay attention to what's happening in your dreams because I've noticed my dreams have been just so magical. I always feel like around that Pisces full moon my dreams are so incredibly magical and I'm connecting with cross loved ones. We tend to be more intuitive. We tend to be more connected to our higher self, to our higher power, more spiritual during this time. And I find especially in dream state that we're making these really powerful connections. So notice what's happening. I also feel like our dreams have been really adventurous and fun and that's meant to translate into our daydreams. I encourage you to allow the daydreaming to be happening right now. I've asked every single person who has come in for one-on-one -on -one sessions today about their dreams, about what their vision is, or they've already shared that with me because they're feeling this energy because now is the time to pay attention to our dreams. Now is the time to dream bigger. I called this video building castles in the sky and then bringing them down to earth because that's really what we're doing. And I think we start with letting ourselves dream and letting ourselves build these castles in the sky, build these dreams, not by ourselves, right? Because I think that what's so important is that we understand that God is supporting us or our higher power, whatever that is for you. I don't get attached to the labels of that, but whatever that is for you is supporting you on this journey and wants to support these dreams that you have. But you have to let yourself do the dreaming. You have to let yourself begin to visualize these things that you want to call into your experience because that is going to help motivate you. That is going to help give God, the universe, the vision for what you're looking for so that you can be supported in those dreams. And I feel like there's so much energy right now of supporting us on our dreams and in helping us in creating these visions that are coming up for us. And you might be surprised by the things that you're dreaming about, right? You might be, this is an energy of us mixing things up, changing things up, doing things differently, looking at things from different perspectives, exploring the possibilities, possibilities that maybe you didn't see for yourself even just a week ago, even two weeks ago, even a month ago, whatever. But we're exploring new possibilities and we're opening to new dreams and letting ourselves hopefully 
be excited about that and join in the fun, adventurous energy of that. I've been talking about choosing our own adventure, right? Choosing our adventure. What do you want to be doing? How do you want to be spending your time? How do you want to be spending your energy? And can we hold the vision of that long enough to allow God to support us in that vision and also co-creating that vision with God. Because a lot of times I find that our dreams, when we have them on our own, tend to be way smaller than the dreams that God has for us. And so when we can say, hey, what do you see for me? Can you show me the way? I invite you to lead my path. I invite you to show me where I'm meant to be. And then we start to pay attention to the dreams that come through, to the ideas that come through, to the intuitive prompts that come through, to the actions that we feel called to take. Then we start to co-create these dreams with our higher power and we start to really build something here, right? By ourselves, we can be powerful, but with our higher power as a team together, we are that much more powerful. And that's so the energy that I feel. So if you're finding all of a sudden your dreams are a bit bigger, it's because you're building them with God. It's because you're letting yourself see the possibilities that have always been available to you, but you were just seeing yourself as smaller than you actually are. And we came here to do big and amazing things. And whatever that means for you and whatever that looks like for you, because I think that that looks really different for each and every one of us. But I want you to keep in mind, and I've been saying this, that miracles are your birthright. Miracles are all of our birthright. And the more that we lean into that, the more we can see how supported we really are and how powerful we really are by allowing this to just develop and manifest through us. We've been doing a course in miracles in my membership. It is 365 days of studying a course in miracles together. And it's so powerful. And every single day I find my mind just expanding and opening more and more to the possibilities. And I very much feel like this energy is all about that as well as really supporting that opening to the possibilities, opening to bigger dreams that you never would have imagined for yourself before. So don't push those away. Pay attention to that. I also feel called to say that the other piece of this is this energy is moving forward, right? So right now it's dreamy, but we also need to put in the work. There's very much an energy of putting in the work as well. So where are you feeling called to take action? Where are you feeling called to get started with something? This is not the time to dream and set it aside, dream and set it aside. This is dream and get started, dream and get started, dream and move forward, dream and continue to work on those things that you need to do because it's almost like the inspiration is coming through so quickly now that it's hard to keep up or even in some ways hard to be clear, right? So when I'm not clear, in terms of what actions I need to take, I just ask. God, show me what, what, what to do now. What's the next step? What's the next step? What's the next step? And I just keep working with that and letting myself be led and trusting my own intuition to be that conduit for the message that I receive from God. And, and that's exactly how you do it. So we have to, it, it takes a little practice. It takes a little flowing with it, but letting yourself flow with what you're feeling called to work on and continuing to invite that. I also feel like there has been a quantum healing over the past week. So what I mean by that is you might notice in some circumstances, because we have been working hard on our healing for a long time. And in some circumstances, you might find that a situation or a, a, a circumstance or an experience might pop up again for you, but you might notice that you're so much more healed than you were before. Maybe even before last week, right? All of a sudden you're like, you know what? That doesn't impact me in the same way that it did before. Or that situation, that whatever, doesn't have the same power over me that it had last week or last month or, or whatever. You might just notice that difference because I think that there has been a real quantum healing that's happened for us. We have seen a lot of barriers and roadblocks being removed that are allowing us to be successful, that are allowing us to lean into these dreams, that are allowing us to 
do things differently because again, the advice here is still shake it up, do it differently, try something new, try to um, even make just little changes to your day so that you are creating new neural pathways in the brain so that you are opening to seeing things from different perspectives. And as we allow change to come into our experience, we are creating more change and we are creating the ability to facilitate these dreams or the support to facilitate these dreams. So there's going to be some hustle right now, right? Letting yourself hustle. I definitely think that there is an energy here of working more, working extra. And right now here in this new moon energy here toward the beginning of the week, we might not feel that as much, but I definitely feel like as the week progresses, it's like our motors are revved up and we're going if we can follow that flow because this is such a forward moving energy. I also, again, got that affirmation. So this is an affirmation. I want you guys to, to say that below in comments if you want to affirm that for yourself. And the affirmation is, I am now living in my highest timeline. Every day is met with blessings, and abundance. I am now living in my highest timeline. Every day is met with blessings and abundance. Okay, so type that in comments below if, if you claim that as your affirmation. And definitely use that throughout the week, throughout the month, because there's such a lucky, beautiful, dreamy, dreams coming true energy that's happening. I also feel really called to say, and I may have said this last week, but this is carryover of that energy. It doesn't have to be so hard. So again, we're called to take a look at where are we making things harder than it needs to be? You know, where are we keeping ourselves stuck because we feel guilty, we feel bad, or where are we self-sabotaging ourselves? Or where are we making excuses for not going after our dreams? Or where are we doubting ourselves even though we have these dreams that we wanna go after? So where are we making it harder than it needs to be? Or where do I need to, where do we just need to create a, a simpler system around something, right? To simplify your process. Where are we controlling things too much? Where are we, <clears throat> you know, uh, keeping ourselves stuck in old patterns that we know don't serve us here now that we've stepped into a new chapter? Sorry, I have a lot of information, so I'm, I'm going to keep going with all of this. This video is going to be a little bit longer. But the other thing that I saw when I was connecting with this energy is this carryover, the energy of faster redirection. So I also want you to notice that things are now manifesting rapidly. However, you might find that you're getting these indications that the energy is moving in the direction of the things that you want to manifest, but they're not quite it. So for example, you might find if you're somebody who is looking for a relationship in your life, you might be getting asked out on dates or going on dates and feel like, okay, this is definitely closer. This is an indication that I'm starting to get the things that I'm asking the universe for, but it's not quite it. And you might find that even if you try to like settle for that, that that's being redirected more quickly. Redirection is God's protection. So notice that. Notice where you're being redirected. And try not to get too caught up in feeling bad about that or making yourself a victim of that or telling yourself stories about that that just simply aren't true about your value, about your worth. Instead, can you change it? Can you focus on the fact that that was redirected for a reason. And that means that you're closer to your manifestation and that that manifestation is wanting to come in, but it can't come in if you don't leave room for it or if you settle before it gets great, right? So we have to allow that process to happen so that we are getting closer and closer to the manifestation. But I do feel like there's some really powerful manifestations happening. Another example would be, let's say you're, you know, wanting a, a new job and you're applying for jobs and you feel like you're really close to getting a job and that's being redirected, right? That, you know, maybe you don't get the job that you thought that you wanted to get, but next week you get, you, you stumble upon a job that's even more so aligned with the vision of what it is that you're looking for. So trust the process, trust the higher vision, and trust that where you're being redirected is exactly where you're meant to be redirected. And do not dig your heels in, do not try to control it, 
do not let yourself decide, nope, this is what I want and try to hold on to anything with a death grip because this is a beautiful time. This Pisces energy, we're in Pisces season now. Let yourself flow. Let yourself be guided. Let yourself be shown. Let this extra intuitive energy help to show you what's best for you in terms of the bigger picture. Let's take a look at the cards. So we have this two of wands, which to me, is further validation of this conversation that we've been having in the weeklies about us choosing t between two paths, right? But I think that now I'm noticing the way that he's looking at the world and he's seeing it from a different perspective and he's ready to embark on the path that's less known, on the, the path that is new or different or maybe even unclear, but he intuitively knows that he needs to lean into that. And that's very much where I see that that path is leading us into our highest timeline. That path is leading us into the manifestations of these beautiful things that we've always been wanting, but maybe we haven't had the strength. We haven't had the courage to do what needs to be done in order to get us there. And now we're there and now we're choosing it or hopefully we're choosing it. Again, it's a choice, right? We can collectively choose or, or, or individually choose whatever it is that we choose. And that's okay too. That's just your path. Eight of Pentacles, putting in the work. And what you're putting the work into, hopefully you're excited about it, right? What you are heart, what you have a heart connection to, put the work into. Whether that's your business or your work or relationships or yourself, whatever that is put the work in because it's going, the return on investment is powerful right now. And I do see us in some ways, maybe burning the midnight oil or working really hard because we also next to this have the 10 of wands, right? And this is carrying a lot right now, right? But the 10 of wands, he's successfully carrying all of these. But I think that it's a good time to take a look at, you know, where can I let go of some of these wands so that I can get to the castle that I'm building in the sky, right? Um, more easily, where, you know, where I can make my life easier, but still accomplish all of the things that matter to me that are most important. So we might be doing a priority assessment. Ton of swords in reverse. Healing after endings recognizing that maybe some of the challenges, some of the things that have really hurt us in the past just don't have the same, the, the same impact anymore. You know, they don't, they don't pack the same punch that they used to. And we're recognizing that and seeing where we've done some healing without even necessarily recognizing that we did the healing. Queen of Wands, creating, letting ourselves be creative, letting ourselves be inspired, letting ourselves dream, letting ourselves begin to take action on creating the vision while also balancing that out with Queen of Swords. Being logical, asking ourselves important questions, exploring lots of ideas and taking a look at what is ideally going to be best for me and for the vision that I am now creating in my life. So powerful, powerful week, guys. And I think that you're going to find there's a whole lot of magic that's happening for us. Again, miracles are your birthright. So own it. Thank you guys so much. And I will see you soon with another video. Take care, guys.